What's going on, doozers, and welcome to another episode on the Shadowtopia server. Today, we are starting out in the nether, and we have a good reason for that. We need to get some wither skeletons. Um, I need a beacon, and I need it bad. Right now, nobody's selling any wither skeleton skulls. So, I'm going to make a quick trip over to my base. I'm going to grab from fireworks, and we're going to head over to the nearest nether fortress... And we're going to see if we can't get ourselves at least enough wither skeletons, um, or at least wither skeleton heads, to make that beacon. Because, oh, mining is easy, but mining without beacons can be a little bit rough. So let's go ahead and get that. We got some flight duration twos. Those away. And let's get right into the nether and start mining out these beacons. Now, I think that the nearest... I think that the nearest uh, nether... Or, uh, yeah, nether fortress is right up here. Oh. Let's take a look. Right there. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Dance it. Right. So, let's see how long it takes me to do this. And uh, as soon as I got the three heads, we'll be right back. All right. I finally did it. So, real talk, it's taken me about, I want to say, three hours of working on it. But I did get three Wither Skulls. So, now it's time to go fight the Wither. And I believe that we already have a Wither Chamber set up over the end. So, I'm going to make my way over there. Now, it's down here. Uh, Dragon Ball, one of our other players, uh, had set his base up. Uh, and then found the stronghold while branch mining. So it's actually pretty nice. I mean, it's an easy way for us to get to... Hello. What the heck is he? What the heck is he doing? Okay. I am curious enough to go. What's this? Oh, okay. That makes sense. So, over here is Dragon Ball's base. Now, Dragon Ball is from the original Gemco server. Um, and he came over with the rest of us when we kind of merged all the servers together. Let's see. Super Smiller... Alright, so, his base is right down in here. All right, let's go kill us. All 
All right, let's go kill us an end skull. Should be. a killing chamber. Just make sure that stand there. That's That's where this needs to go. Now, I don't think that this works in Windows 10 or Xbox editions. Not 100% sure. But I always give myself a little tunnel to run through. So we're going to spawn it in. There you go. Easy peasy. <clears throat> um, this is probably one of the easiest ways in Java Edition to kill the wither. You just kind of trap them underneath this guy. So, there we go. Now we have our Nether Star. Piece of heads. Right, so I believe to make wither the beacon. Four pieces of glass, three pieces of obsidian. So let's see, still got the um so one of the other things that I did off camera was I finished up the villager trading hall. And we'll take a quick spin around that in just a minute. But for right now, the first thing I need to do these guys are so as you can see I I did up the inside I have a lot of glass up there I made it as unspa as unspawnable as possible and then we kind of put this nice little um it's like thin up here. The roof is all glass. So try to make it look as nice, like really nice, uh, without getting too overboard on it. Ugh. So here we go. It is beacon time. Boom. Got the beacon. Now start working some of the other. Um I didn't necessarily need the beacon to do the projects, just Having the beacon certainly makes it a especially when you're tearing down a bunch. So now that we have the beacon, my next step is I want to get um I want to get a <coughs> words just aren't my friend today. I want to get a heart of the sea. Um so that's going to be one of my next things, is working on getting one of those, that way I can say I have it at least. Let's go ahead and there, boop. Let's 
So we're going to go ahead and head over to the shopping district. And from there, once we're in the shopping district, we'll take a fly around, see if we can't maybe find that heart of the sea. And then I think my next big build, um, I think I'm actually going to try making a drowned farm. Um, I, keep, I have a couple areas that I think could work for it. So, actually, I might do that. Or, Heart of the Sea first. Drowned Farm second. I'm letting myself get overburdened again with a whole bunch of different things. And last time I did that, it, it that really bad. So, I'm trying to be good, but I don't know. Oh. Let me get over to the shopping district district and uh, find one of these treasure maps and we'll be right back. All right, so we are back in the air. I explored about a thousand blocks out and I wasn't having any luck finding a, um, a shipwreck anywhere that hadn't already been hit. So somebody has a whole bunch of hearts of the sea. And I guess the question is going to be who's going to actually be selling. Um, that being said, I figured I'd get to work on my next project, which is a farm I've never built before. And that is... Um, that is a drowned farm. Now, building this in a river biome. So to do this, all you need to do is find a... Uh, river and then you're just gonna kind of map out exactly what I didn't want <laughs> uh, you just kind of want to map out where the river actually is um, and you want to be about 138 blocks up because keep in mind that 138 is about where mobs start to despawn and we want to try to eliminate as many spawning spots as available other than the river. And by doing this, it, it gives us a better chance of actually getting the drowned, which is what we're doing. Um, I am kind of hoping that I have enough thieves with me. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to put the leaves down. And the reason we're using leaves are because nothing spawns which means that this platform is completely uh, unspawnable. Oh, it's mob proof without having any on it. Um, and it gives me a little bit of peace of mind as far as making this farm. The first thing that we have to do is completely fill this platform. Now this is going to ultimately our killing chamber, this is where everything's going to kind of be at. Um, so let me finish this platform off quick, and then as soon as this is done, I'll bring you back to this part. All right, so part number two, we are now standing at build limit, which is 256. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to start wandering around with stone. And as you can see, look at There we go. So now it says biome taiga. And what I want to find is when we start hitting river. There. All right. So this is river. This is taiga. what we're kind of doing is we're just mapping this area out based on the biome that we're in. So as long as we're in Taiga, see river there, Taiga there. So 
So all we're doing right now is we are mapping out entire area that surrounds this oops that this one is still still considered a river So what we're really going to be doing here is we're going to be trying to duplicate that shape there up here with an open center because what we're going to end up doing is we're going to put water in here and from there what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to spawn in drowns like crazy and then we'll be able to move them to a different location probably right nearby and kill them all off. So let me start mapping this out and we'll be back. Okay, so now that the outline is done, at least as far as I can tell, F3 screen, what I'm doing now is I'm coming around the outline and I'm putting in slabs to make this top part spawn. Now I am going to have to get back up here again. I'm going to have to... F it's, it's just, that's how it's going to happen but the next thing that I need to do this is gonna be right about now so I'll get spare all right so now the next thing that we need is we need to do a quick outline and this outline is important because what it's going to do is it's going to allow me to actually, um, let's see here. I need to be able to set up some stone or something down here to keep the water from spilling out because the next process is actually going to a uh, we have to build a killing or a, a, a big shield over that so it keeps it dark but then what we're also going to have to do is we're going to have to kind of label out uh, where the water is going to go because we're going to have to throw some trap doors too so what i need to do is i need to find let's see there's scaffolding stone perfect that'll work So what I need to do now is I need to kind of mimic that shape down here on the ground. And that's going to take a hot minute. Um, so let me get on to that. All right. <clears throat> so now the very top of this is all done. So the next part is actually pretty simple. All we have to do is put in some water sources. That'll give us a never-ending or infinite water supply. And then we can just start filling everything in. Just like this. As we go, we're going to get more and more water sources. Which are going to be weird things like that. <laughs> but as we're going, notice that it's just slowly making more and more water sources. Um, it's going to make this a lot easier to go. So... perfect all right now for the fun part now all these areas that we put a floor in we got to take the back out all right guys so it is done it's done it's working we have our complete system worked out now 
So let's go ahead and take a flight up here. So I have my killing chamber up here. Okay. And what's going to happen is these guys just spawn like crazy in this area here. And then I have some trapdoor or not trapdoors, some fence gates. Sorry, <laughs> words. Um, so we have the fence gates up here, and what they're doing is they're allowing these guys to cycle down, and then they're going to naturally want to go after this. Um, so what they're naturally going to want to do is they're going to want to come over and break this turtle egg. Now I'm going to put another one here just in case because I want them to be able to... <laughs> well, now I needed it there. But I want them to be able to see this tur turtle egg and immediately start going after it. And when they do, they're going to fall into this. Now this is going to cycle them down and into an actual kill chamber where I can get rid of them. So we've already got one coming down. Pro moves right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up and we're actually going to physically watch this thing work. Now, that being said, Chaos just came back from vacation. Now, he's been gone for two weeks. He had a couple of videos pre-recorded. Um, so I'm kind of hoping he comes over. I want, to, I want him to take a peek at this also. But in the meantime... Um, let me show you guys, and then also the other thing we have to do still is we are going to put on a slab roof yet. Um, I do want to maximize as much spawning spots as possible. So right now that it's nighttime, it's going to go absolutely crazy. Uh, but once daytime hits, and they, it kind of slows down drastically. So we should be getting pretty close to the spawn chamber. Oh. So this is just what I got from when I first started working, like when I was building everything. And you can see I, I've died a couple of times as well. So now really it's just a kind of a waning game. Just hang out and there they come. All right, guys. And we've done it. So total AFK time here was, I'm going to say about an hour altogether. I've already cleaned out a lot of the stuff, but look at this. Look at this, look at this magical device. So we have Unbreaking 3, Loyalty 3, and Mending on this. Now, um, I did have to go over to Chaos's base to find the villager that had Loyalty. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I kind of jumped the gun on him. He had a Loyalty 2 villager for 29. I was like, I'll take it. And I just traded him with him twice. But on top of that, we've got 15 of the Drowned Heads. 24 fish, 16 gold ingots, and 6 nautilus shells. And these guys are still coming down. I mean, this is awesome. Now, if I'm getting one every 45 minutes, it's not the greatest return. But listen, I don't know anybody else who currently has a drowned farm. So, you know what that means. I'm going to mob this out. I'm going to sit here and grind it for like 7 or 8 hours. I'm going to get a couple of tridents. And then I'm going to put them over in the shopping district and see if we can't make a couple a couple diamonds here and there on it. So I'm going to get back to grinding this out, and we'll be back after I have a few more. Okay, guys. So it looks like we finally have a buyer for the slime shop. Uh, Wokachu hit me up earlier, and he said he was interested, and I gave him a price of only five diamonds for the shop, and that's going to include the hidden seat, the hidden shulker box. So here he is now. What's it going, Woke? <laughs> What's going on, man? Not too much. So I built this just as a, a quick, you know, get it done slime shop. Um, there's somebody stole a trapdoor. <laughs> Cause this, let me see here.
Uh, I can't get it in now. Boo. Oh, wait, that's right. That's good. That's why. So the the way I had it set up was that the 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 shulker box was just kind of sitting here for like extra storage for you know hidden stuff. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it worked. Um. The doors are all set up. Everything's good to go. So I mean, there you go. <laughs> And uh, here you go. Oh wait, that's that book. That that book is mine. That is yours. That's the deed. Feel free to burn it if you want to. Payment do me. Awesome. Thank you. Absolutely. Enjoy it. Hope it works for you. <laughs> no, I, I really appreciate it because um, I'm tired of being the only one on the server without a. Uh, without a shop and um well you know what this was a great means to an end so what, what, are, you, what are you putting in here um honestly i have a a crap ton of redstone so i was just gonna build a, a lot of redstone components and i know someone has a witch farm but you know what until they put up a shop here i am i'm gonna put up you know observers comparators Red, you know, red, redstone blocks. Red, red, uh, I only have maybe four stacks of redstone blocks, but um, a lot of redstone components can be made with those redstone blocks. Uh, true, for the true. redstone. Hopefully, that shop will be opening soon. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this sign down because there you go. Wow. Ooh, witch. I appreciate it. Anytime. And trust me, once that red shown, the redstone shop's open, let me know. Let me know words today, because um, I'll definitely be over. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Later. Later. Okay, guys. So there we have it. I mean, that was an easy five diamonds. Um, you know, I I built the thing, and he got the shulker box out of the deal too. So I think it's a fair deal. I mean. Um, over there, they're selling, I think that squashy squids shop, the shulker box shop. Um, he's selling shulkers for five diamonds and woke just bought a, a, uh, whole shop for five diamonds and it included a shulker box in it. So, I mean, I think that's a fair deal. Uh, you know what? While we're here in town, let's go check the mail. See if anybody gave us anything to look at. And then we're going to get back to the base and. Get back to possibly AFKing that uh, Trident farm. No, nope, no mail for Doozer. Okay, so uh, let's see. In between everything that's just happened, I had done uh, a little bit of farming. I was doing some grindy work because one of the other things I want to do is I want to move that rocket shop over into the shopping district over there. Um, and I need contra uh, concrete to do that. So I did mine up uh, three shulker boxes worth of co of cobblestone and gravel. So that should give me everything I need as far as getting the actual um, concrete made. I'm, I'm going to need some dyes. I'm going to need some red dye for sure. Uh, probably, well, I have some white concrete. So... Um, I'm going to have to take some of the concrete that I already have, make some new stuff in red, and then we're going to make a uh, rocket shop over there. And I think we're going to probably do that next episode. Um, right now we're going to see just how many more of these um, tridents I can get. And uh, do me a favor, down in the comments below, tell me how many, uh, how many tridents you think we're going to end up with here. Um, I've been working on grinding this out now for, I'm going to say about four hours I've been grinding. Now it's uh, four hours stretched over two days. So two hours a day grinding. Um, and then the fact that I died in the middle of it and lost some of my gear because of a creeper. So not a, not a pleasant experience. Uh, let's get back up here. Uh, so again, leave a, leave a little comment down below and tell me how many tridents you think I'm going to end up with. And um, 
We're gonna get back up here and we'll see just how close everybody is. If I can take off. There we go. Oh, that was that was pro right there. That was pro. All right, guys. We'll be back in a bit.